it's your girl Creedy here and happy blessed Wednesday! So today is a brand new day. Even though it's cloudy here in Toronto, I don't care because really, no matter what weather it is, we should just embrace the day, take on the challenge, be bold for Christ, be confident for Christ, and to not be afraid of what is to come in the midst of this world of darkness. And that's what our mission is, being a true word for Christ. We have to be that light of illumination, as what Cardinal Thomas Collins said, the light of illumination. And it really stuck to me ever since I heard it in one of his homilies back in, I think, in Easter time, like April. And it really just stuck to me ever since, like a Velcro that just attached to my face. It just, it off. Anyways, so with that in mind, we have to be the, that fire of illumination in the midst of this darkness of this world. And that's our mission. We have to have that objective and that goal to always, always, always have that goal to reach out to the scattered and for the salvation of souls. You know, I know it sounds like, what? Like, yeah, but it's just that matter of trying. That's all that matters at the very end of the day. And no matter where you're coming from, where you are at in your life, or how you are as a person, as long as you have a goal for Christ with pure intentions and glorifying God's name and kingdom, God will make it happen for you. God will pave the way for you. God will prepare you and God will equip you to be where you want to be. As long as that dream is for Christ and for his glory and is for his kingdom. And you're going to face times of persecution one way or another. You're going to face those times of restless nights because the enemy will try to make you quit. That's the one thing that we have to be aware of and alert and to always recognize that our weaknesses and our temptations and our, our weak points and our triggers are what gives the enemy a way to attack us in various different ways and very deceiving ways too. So it may seem like it's so innocent, but like... It just sneaks up on you like a quick attack. So that's why we have to really have that self-examination all the time so that we will be aware and that we will be able to combat the enemy right when he tries to make us quit, make us feel doubtful, make us feel discouraged, and make us feel that we're not good enough and we will never ever get to where we want to be. So I just want to share those wonderful nuggets that I felt the Holy Spirit touch my heart to talk to share with you guys briefly before I go into the song that I got selected today which is called Be Still My Soul and I love this version by Carrie Jo because it's so I mean the traditional version is more of a choral version which I don't have anything against and essentially with this version it's more of a modern touch to it and it's just a straight up prayer you know God's really telling us to be still in our soul and we just have to be able to place all of our trust and our confidence and and hope in Christ even more so which is so applicable to right now during this pandemic because a lot of us are feeling this time of despair discouragement and I'm like when is this gonna end right so that's why I really love how God was like Karina today this one this songs today I'm like okay let's do it <laughs> like i love how god just has like his wonderful ways of just like kind of giving that little like little nudge a little push to just of love and encouragement and mercy to just do what god wants you to do and so that's why we have to always allow ourselves to be open in our hearts to tell god okay how do you want me to be today you know and god i look forward to what you have in store for me today and that's where it all begins that seed of wonderful love for god and we should just let that be nurtured that seed be nurtured and let it grow for the glory and grace of god and it's something that we just have to keep on trying because the more we try the more the enemy will keep on trying harder and the more reason we have to fight harder against the enemy be like no get out of my face i'm trying and i'm calling upon your enemy which is our blessed mother mary so whenever you feel any times of doubt discouragement and despair that's the enemy knocking on your door so go get jesus to answer that door as i heard yesterday so with that said and as i always have say in all my videos don't be afraid to be true warriors of christ